broadly movement disorders are of two types the one it is called as hypokinetic hypokinetic the other is hyperkinetic type of movement disorder in hypokinetic a person is very slow that is hypo that means he takes time to do all the activities of the daily living starting from eating to bathing and going to office so in that group of disorder is a, we label it as parkinsonism parkinsonism is a condition in which the person will have slowness in activities of the daily living in addition to that person can also have tremor shaking and they feel stiffness that is tightness of the upper lip and the lower lip it is slowly progressing and later on a stage will come when they will have instability that is gait instability and they will fall down so that are the hyperkinetic movement disorder parkinsonism now another group is the hyperkinetic movement disorder in hyperkinetic movement disorder we have so many other conditions this includes starting from chorea chorea is one type of movement disorder in which a person will have dancing type of movements so this dancing type of movements can occur in anywhere of the body it can be the dystonia that is hands some abnormal dancing movements can be there and the person is unable to control that dancing movements sometimes dancing movements of the tongue chorea tongue will be abnormally moving so what the patient will have the person will have difficulty in talking difficulty in swallowing the food and if the abnormal movements are there in the hands that person is unable to write and do his routine works with the hands so it can occur in the any part of the body second type of hyperkinetic movement disorder is balismus balismus is a term when we call there is proximal movement sudden jerky proximal movements of the hands usually it is seen after stroke that is paralytic attack brain stroke we see mostly one part of the body starts taking that is called balismus or hemi balismus and another hyperkinetic movement disorder is atetosis atetosis is a condition where the person will have in addition to the dancing movement some breathing movements will be there that is atetosis and the other movement is hyperkinetic movement is dystonia what is dystonia dystonia means for example when when we need to make a fist for example i want to make a fist like this so what happen my one group of muscles will contract and this other muscles will relax that is accessor group will re relax so in patient with dystonia there is abnormal involuntary contraction of both agonist and antagonist group of muscles so what happen abnormal posturing of the hands will occur that is called dystonia so th uh, these are the various type of hyperkinetic movement disorders so now coming to depending upon the type of abnormal movements and its localization we will tell facial dystonia cranial dystonia focal focal dystonia or focal and segmental or one half abnormal movements or it can be generalized